Hi, my name is Tracy Allen, and uh, last night I made some sushi, quick and easy and healthy, for a tennis club. And uh, it surprised me how many people don't make it and don't know how easy it is, so I thought I'd make this video. Uh, I'm going to have a list of the ingredient items below the in the description below the video. But just a quick review, you're going to need some nori sheets, and they look like this. And they're relatively cheap and very healthy for you with the seaweed in them. Then you're going to need some um, rice. And the kind of rice you need is sticky rice. And then you're going to need some vegetables. This is a vegetarian sushi or a California sushi. So I have avocado, uh, peppers, carrots, and cucumbers. And they're all just kind of like thinly sliced. And then I also have roasted dulse and sesame seed, both toasted and then ground up to make a bit of a powder that I put in it as well. That This is definitely optional and uh, you can buy pre-made um, seasoning for sushi in the grocery stores as well. So you start with a sheet and a lot of videos will show you, you know, the bamboo roll and that type of thing. You really just don't need it. And it's as simple as taking the rice and I tend to make it warm rice because it, it tends to uh, stick a little better, easier to roll. And usually I make the rice right before I make the sushi anyway. So I'm putting in a bunch of rice on the bottom and I spread it out. I'm not sure if you can see much of this, but try to spread it out as evenly as possible. There we go. So I've got, got the rice all spread out evenly. So now I'm going to take my roasted dulse and my roasted some sesame seeds and just do a light sprinkling over it. And this kind of gives a bit of a salty taste. Now some people will put soy sauce in here, um, but I don't really like soy sauce that much, so I don't put it in. It's up to you. Then take whatever you're going to put in and just kind of line them along the edge. So you can see that just along the edge part there. So I put a cucumber, thin carrot, I'll um, put some pepper as well, and then I've got a couple of thin slices of avocado. So I put them all at the very edge. Now all you have to do is grab the edge and I'll tuck this stuff in so it all stays together. And really after you make that first roll, it's pretty easy after that. So you just want to roll it like that, and there you have it, a roll one sushi roll. Now you can let them sit for a bit if you like. I tend to um, cut the little ends off just to make it a little neater because it doesn't, uh, depends on how evenly you spread out your, your ingredients. So I've taken the two ends off and so now I can make them very sharp knife you want to do it with and just make them probably about mm, half an inch thick and there's the um, there's the sushi right there. So we just set them on a plate and then you can serve them with um, wasabi or soy sauce or um, pickled ginger, anything that you like. And really it's that simple. Hope you enjoy it.